evening, those of you on TikTok and YouTube platforms. We thank God for you, I, Mr. Clay. And let us pray. Yes, oh, most holy, Sinini, Nanini. Even the great I am. Yes, the Yush, Yahuwah, Yahweh. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank you. Thank you, even the Heya. We thank you for there, there. Your name is in every language. We thank you. We thank you. We give you the glory and the praise. We thank you that this day is going to be cut short. That this hour is going to be whittled down. And that we are going to be taken. We are going to be away from here. Gone. Not even to return. Bidding this old, mean, cruel world goodbye. Oh, one day, one day, whether it's either by our natural death or by your taking away. Yes, we thank you for these things. Yes, yes, but in the meanwhile, while we yet live, give us that understanding of your word that we might walk. Give us that confidence in you. Help us to have confidence in you through your word that we might stand. Oh, yes, most holy, we thank you for everything. Hey, we ask you to deal with our children. They must suffer many things and they have to endure many things. But yet we ask you to make their way prosperous. Make their minds aware. Make their hearts even melt before you that they might even call upon you in the day of calamity. Yes, O oh, Most Holy Sanini Nanini, we thank you. We give you the praise and the glory. For the east, west, north, and south, we all have enemies. But yet that we come along and come together as one people, one voice. Yes, even the bond to even Israel. And we thank you for all things. Yes. All praises, all praises. Yes, we're in Exodus chapter 38. Yes, the 38th chapter of Exodus. That's where we are. And we're in verse 1. Still talking about Basileel. And he made the altar of the burnt offering of shittim wood. Five cubits was the length thereof, and five cubits was the breadth thereof. That's the length and the width. Okay, and it was four square. It was square. The altar, it was square, okay? And three cubits of the height thereof. And he made the horns thereof on the four corners of it. The horns thereof were of the same. Now, they were like little handles, horns, you know, whatever they would call them. But they were, on the, they were on the four corners of the altar. This was a square altar. Made out of what? Brass. Shittim wood. Overlaid with brass, okay? And the horns thereof of the same, he overlaid it with brass. And he made all the vessels of the altar, the pots and the shovels, and the basins and the flesh hooks and the fire pans and all the vessels thereof, he made of brass. Made he of brass. And he made the altar of a brazen grate for a steel brass. Brazen is just burnt brass. A brazen grate of network under the compass thereof, under the, the whole span of it. All of it was a grate. It was to catch the wood, to let the wood fall through. And even this, uh, as the burnt offering would ash up, it would uh, the ashes would fall to the ground. Okay, and it would, it would be carried out of the camp. Just like you would have a grill and you have the grate under it and the ashes fall below the grate. Okay, into a pan. Okay, now, verse 4. And he made the altar a brazen great net of network under the compass thereof beneath unto the midst of it. And he cast four rings of the four ends of the grate of the brass to be places for the stays, in other words, that the altar may be carried when they get ready to travel. And he made the stays of shittim wood and overlaid them with brass, and he put the stays into the rings on the sides of the altar to bear it with all, and he made the altar hollow with boards. So it was hollow with boards. They would be able to carry this brass, this brazen altar. They'll carry it. Yes, as they go on their journey, it was very slow. But they would carry that brazen altar. Okay, making he he laid he made a lever brass, the foot of the, the foot of it brass, the labor, the foot of it was brass, and of the looking glass of the women assembling, which assembled at the door of the tablet. Hey, you made a mirror for the women to look at themselves. Isn't that some? <laughs> oh yes. It says, look at here, it says of the looking glasses of the women assembling at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. They could look at themselves, make sure they were all right, I guess. But anyway, God has a, God is so loving, isn't he? He even looks at the women and what the women love looking at themselves. A man like looking at himself, I got something to say about that. But anyway, their pillars were 20 and their brass sockets were 20 and the hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. 
And of the north side hangings were 100 cubits, and their pillars were 20, and their sockets of brass 20, and their hooks of pillars, and their fillets of silver. And of the west side hangings 50 cubits, their pillars 10, and their sockets 10, and the hooks of the pillars, and their fillets of silver. And for the east side, eastward, 50 cubits. And the hangings on one side of the gate were 15 cubits, and their pillars 3, and their sockets 3. And the other side of the quarter gate on this hand and that hand were hangings of 15 cubits, and their pillars were 3, and their sockets 3. All the hangings of the court around about were of fine twine linen. And the sockets of the pillar were brass, and hooks of the pillars, and their fillets of silver, and their overlaying of their chapters of silver, and their pillars of the court were fillets with silver. And the hangings of the great gate of the court was needlework of blue and the purple and scarlet and fine twine linen, and twenty cubits was the length thereof, and the height of the breadth was five cubits, and answerable to the hangings of the court. And their pillars were four, and their sockets of the brass four, and their hooks of silver, and their overlaying, and their chapters, and their fillets of silver. And all the pins of the tabernacle, that's which parts that you, like if I, if I got a pin and I'm going to put a socket or I put a pin in, that it might stay. Okay, well they didn't have screws, but they had the pins. They were, they were, and of the court roundabout were of brass, they were made of brass. And this is the sum of the tabernacle, even the tabernacle of testimony, as it was counted according to the commandment of Moses for the service of the Levites by the hand of Ithamar, the son of to Aaron, the priest. And Bezaliel, the son of Uri, the son of Hira of the tribe of Judah, made all that the I am commanded. You notice it's kind of funny that he comes from the tribe of Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah. He comes from Judah. And he's the one that maps out the whole thing. Now, even the tribe of Judah is the one that built the first temple. The tribe of Judah built the last. Oh, oh my God, my God. Let's see something made all that the Lord commanded Moses. And with him was Aholiab, the son of Ishmael, of the tribe of Dan, and engraver, and cunning workman, and embroiderer of, in blue, and in purple, and in scarlet, and fine linen. Yes. And all the gold were occupied for the work, and all the work of the holy place. Even the gold of the offering was twenty and nine talents, and seven hundred and thirty shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. And the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation was an hundred talents and a thousand seven hundred and three score and fifteen shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. The becca for every man, a becca for every man is, that is, a half shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. And every one that went to be numbered from twenty years old and upward for six hundred and six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty men. It's a lot of people. And of the hundred talents of silver were cast the sockets of the sanctuary and the sockets of the veil and the hundred sockets of the talents and the talents for a socket. And of the thousand seven hundred and seventy and five shekels he made hooks for the pillars and overlaid their chapters and filleted them. Filleted them. <laughs> yes. And the brass of the offering was seventy talents and two thousand and four hundred shekels therewith. He made the sockets to the door. I'm in verse. I am in verse 30. The door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the brazen altar, and the brazen gate for it, and all the vessels of the altar, and the sockets of the court round about, and the sockets of the court gate, and all the pins of the tabernacle, and all the pins of the court round about. And I tell you one thing: the Bantu ready to march. In other words, we got our praise ready. We got the place where we're going to praise, we're going to sacrifice to our God, our, our, our Lord and our Savior. We're going to sacrifice to Him and we have made this thing where everybody knew their place. The Levites knew how to take, take this thing down. They knew when to pack. They knew how to pack. They know who, what tribe or who would carry this or what, what, what clan would carry what or what clan would carry this. And Israel marched until they got over to that River Jordan. Yes. And so with that, we're going to say peace.